In this talk, I would like to present our paper, Learning Encryption and its Applications to Submittable Protocols with Low Round Complexity. I'm Xin Xuan Zhang, it's a joint work with Eden. First, consider the following simple protocol. Roughly, the welfare is sent publicly to the prover, and the prover will encrypt its double proof, proving that it knows the secret key or some other statements. That's a toy example, and here, we only concentrate on simulating the prover. Now, as we can see, if the welfare can't distinguish subtext, then the simulator can easily encrypt the domain message to conclude the simulation. And if the welfare can't distinguish the subtext, which means that the welfare should know the secret key, then we hope the simulator can use the secret key as a trapdoor to generate the double proofs. Uh, the critical question here is that how to extract the secret key from the malicious welfare? In other words, does the ability of distinguishing subtext means the knowledge of the secret key? Then we consider the following two encryption schemes closing to our requirements that the witness encryption and the conditional disclosure scheme. Both allow one to generate key pairs from an MP instance and its witness, so that if the instance is invalid, no efficient algorithm can decrypt subtext. However, neither of them provides any security when using a valid instance. In other words, the decryption algorithm provides only a sound proof that the corresponding public key is valid. Now we have a question. Can we construct a public key encryption for which only algorithm that knows the secret key can decrypt subtext. In other words, the, the decryption algorithm provides a proof of knowledge of the secret key. Unfortunately, most of existing encryption schemes fail to satisfy this requirement without uh, knowledge assumptions. The only uh, exception we are aware of is a variant of Robin's encryption, of which security is based on the factoring assumption. As shown in DOM20, this conception is useful in constructing T epsilon secure uh, protocols. Motivated by this question, we put forward the notion of knowledge encryption. Like CDS, knowledge encryption is associated with an MP language. The key pairs is generated from the from an instance and its witness. Knowledge encryption should satisfy the uh, witness extractability uh, property, which claims that if an efficient adversary can distinguish subtext, then there is an efficient algorithm extracting the witness, which is also part of the secret key, from the adversary. This should hold even for malicious generated public key. Besides it, we additionally require knowledge encryption to satisfy the indistinguishability and the public key simulation properties. In our paper, we present two constructions of knowledge encryption. The first one is based on CDS and the random self-reducible encryption. The second one is based on CDS only. It means that the knowledge encryption can be constructed from two random game with secure uh, oblivious uh, transfer, which is known based on DDH, QR, or LWE assumption. Here, we only give a high level idea about the second construction. Remind that uh, CDS can be constructed from the two message secure function evaluation for the secured shown on the slides. We embed a simple decoding mechanism in this uh, secured, so that a special generated uh, subtext will be indistinguishable from the subtext of some position of the witness. Therefore, one can extract the witness by observing the view of the adversary. Now, as shown on the slide, knowledge encryption can be used to construct several protocols. Due to the time limits, we only provide a high-level idea about the construction of the first three-round TPSLON simulatable oblivious transfer. The high-level idea is that the receiver will send a pair of knowledge encryption public keys for the instance that it knows the witness for only one of them, so that it, it can only decrypt one of these two subtitles sent in the last round. These subtitles are generated by the sender and through, uh, through encrypting its two input strings. In the meanwhile, the, simulating simu the simulator simulating receiver will extract both strings by generating two valid public keys and decrypting both subtitles. The simulator simulating senders will extract uh, several keys from malicious receiver using the individual reduction technique and the, the witness extractability property of our knowledge encryption. It's a win-win construction such that no matter how many secret keys are extracted, the simulator will always be able to conclude the simulation. We refer to our uh, we refer to our paper for more details. That's all. 
Thank you for your attention.